So the moment we have all been eagerly awaiting, with bated breath, is finally upon us. Harry and Meghan, the miniseries, is out on Netflix this Thursday morning. The first three episodes. I've struggled through the first one so that you don't have to. For that alone, <laughs> I think I deserve a like. And while we're at it, 65% of my audience still haven't subscribed. And to those of you who haven't subscribed, I will say one thing. What the hell is wrong with you people? How on earth do you expect me to get my silver plaque? It makes me look like a legitimate YouTuber. I want to have my silver plaque on here, please. My ego is like a rare tropical flower in a Victorian hothouse. It must be tended to and nurtured. Oh, damn well, subscribe. And if you're not going to subscribe and like and comment and help the bloody algorithm, then... Why did you come here? You might as well just... Get out! No! As I've already said, I've only managed to get through the first episode of Harry and Meghan's miniseries, but uh, credit where credit's due. The producers of this Netflix show do understand the hook technique. I'll give them that. So obviously the two trailers that they brought out for this series over the last week or so uh, whipped up quite a lot of controversy because uh, on the one hand, you've got these circling vultures like myself waiting to grasp at all the vacuity and stupidness coming from the series. And then you've got the people that genuinely support Harry and Meghan and want to watch it. We were all hooked for very different reasons. So I don't know how much of that is a deliberate uh, marketing strategy from the producers of this program or just complete incompetence and lack of material which led them to use a load of deceptive and false images in the trailers. But whatever the motive, absence or malice, their heart or their shoes, they stand there on Montecito hating the Who's. But as I was saying, uh, credit where credit's due, this, uh, this ability to grift as hard as these two grift, to get a hundred million dollars out of Netflix to spread absolutely nothing over six hour long episodes in this miniseries. And by the way, spoiler alert, it is nothing. I know everyone's waiting for some bombshell, some revelation. Well, spoiler alert, I've only watched the first episode and I can guarantee 100% that that bombshell is not coming. It's not coming. If they had anything to say, they would have said it by now. They're getting as much out of this as they can before it all dries up, before the entire world realises there's nothing there to listen to. People are going to sit through six hours of this series hate-watching or watching because they want to hear the reasons why these two needed to leave the royal family and they're not coming. The only thing I'll, I will say is, well, there's two things. This is kind of a criticism and, and, and kind of a steel man of, of Harry and Meghan's situation. So almost the, entire, almost the entirety of the first episode is based on, well, there's two main themes. There's Harry and Meghan, how they met. Who gives a shit? But anyway, yeah, there's the sort of texts, the back and forth and uh, the dates they went on and very boring, very mundane, very whatever. Nobody really cares. That's not what we want to get to, is it? We want to get to the accusations he made about the royal family, right? But that's part of the first episode. Almost the entirety, though, about of the 56 minutes, I would say a good 40 minutes, is footage of Diana. Maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe it's 35 minutes. It's footage of Diana and how horrible it was for Harry as a kid growing up. Uh, with all the photographers following him around on holiday, which, by the way, you see William in all of the clips taking it in his stride, but whatever, you know, I agree with that. Somebody in the documentary actually says, being in the royal family, he doesn't envy uh, members of the royal family. He's just like living in a, gold, uh, a gilded cage, he calls it. I actually really agree with that. And I've said this many times in previous videos. If Harry and Meghan had said, we can't stand the constant attention that's not on our terms, we want to walk away from this and do our own thing, people would have even been understanding and accepting if they had signed Netflix deals and Spotify deals. They might have said, at worst, they're a bit hypocritical, right? You can't stand the attention while you're in the royal family, but then you sign a Netflix and Spotify deal. But that isn't the problem people have. They still haven't understood what the problem is. It's not that you walk away. It's not that you then sign things on your own terms. You do that. But you don't shit on the people that have given you all of your privilege, right? Harry 
lives in a gilded cage. I understand that. But in that gilded cage, <laughs> what comes with that gilded cage? You sell that gilded cage and you're, you're doing pretty well for yourself. Uh, people estimate that he has somewhere in the region of a billion pounds in properties and inheritance. He's doing all right. Okay, I understand not wanting to be a member of the royal family. I wouldn't want it. I've said it many times before. I wouldn't want to be a member of the royal family. I wouldn't want that life for myself. And hey, luck would have it <laughs> that the royal family haven't asked me to have that life either. <laughs> Thank God I was not born a prince. <laughs> Those grapes are pretty sour, I reckon. <laughs> but I agree with that. I agree it's horrible for kids growing up in that situation. It's, it's a very weird upbringing, right? So I could fully understand. My steel man of them would be to say, yeah, I get that. I would want to walk away from that life too. I'd want to have things on my terms. I'd want to run my own social media accounts and stuff like that. I get it. But then you don't turn around and uh, make false, and they are false, accusations of racism, of insinuations, I mean, they're not even accusations at this point, are they? I mean, the insinuations about Kate Middleton in the trailer, uh, about William. Th there's a really funny thing that Harry said, a line <laughs> in the first trailer, or was it the second one, uh, when he says, uh, oh, there's a hierarchy in this family. I mean, you don't say! It's a fucking royal family, Harry. Of course there's a hierarchy. There's a king, a queen, and princes and princesses, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah, it's a hierarchy. Yeah, we know. It's the it's the definition of a hierarchy. Um, and I I think this is the thing. It's it's like they can't, they don't, they are narcissistic. They don't know how to walk away, and they 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 can't see what part of walking away would be acceptable, and what part of it is unacceptable. Calling everyone a racist is unacceptable, right? Certainly when it's groundless. You haven't given any names. You haven't said anything particularly uh, disagreeable, I've got to say. Somebody asking, somebody saying, we don't even know what they're supposed to have said, but somebody said something about the colour of your unborn child. So it might have been, oh, I wonder what skin tone they'll have, you know, because Megan's kind of dark and you're quite fair, you know, ginger and everything. So... What was it? Or was it, oh, I hope it's not a... I hope your child's not one of those, um... Ooh. Oh, what was it? Come on, give us words. Give us a transcript like that, dozy bitch. I won't name her. At, uh, at that royal event the other day, who accused uh, Lady Hussey. I'm not even going to name her. Don't want to give her any credit. Give us a transcript. Yeah? See if it's as scandalous as... Asking somebody where they're from when they're dressed like a... <laughs> somebody put a picture on Twitter of a... <laughs> a VT. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if it's as scandalous as that. Give me the transcript. What was said and who said it to you, Megan? Hey? Harry? H, as she calls him in this series. All the while. Give us names, give us facts, give us something. And everyone who's still watching this, believing that those facts, those, uh, those, um, those real tangible events, those bombshells are coming. You're wrong. They're not coming. They're not coming at all. <laughs> We're just watching nothing. Like the entirety of Megan's 10 episodes of Archetypes. There's nothing. There is nothing there. It's absolute madness that that people are still... Well, it's, maybe it's madness what I'm doing. I don't know at this point. It's It's gone so far that there has to be an end to this. When is it, when is it that the defenders of these people are just going to realise... They're defending nothing. They're defending two extremely rich, privileged people who are doing exactly what the fuck they want and have been for a long, long time. And all they did was suffer a couple of years, suffer, 
you know, going around having to cut red ribbons or whatever at, at charity events, which is what they're doing anyway now. With all of the negative press that they had before, times a million, because people hate them for the things they keep saying, or suggesting, or insinuating, without actually naming anyone, or presenting any transcripts like, uh, like Marlene did the other day. Sorry, my dead naming her. When... I suppose this all stops when people stop getting angry about it. But then why should we stop getting angry about it? You know, it's it's insane that people are allowed to walk around playing the victim like this in the world. It's, <laughs> I've met people like this. These uh, these these um, philanthropic narcissists, you know, going around the world giving speeches now about climate change, uh, receiving uh racism, anti-racism activism awards. For what? What have they done for race relations? What have they done in their private jets for the environment? <laughs> Which, by the way, I wouldn't care. It's another thing. I just would not care about them going around in private jets because I don't give a toss, right? But please don't lecture us plebs about how to, uh, about how to keep the environment clean when you take a fucking private jet to go to your polo match in Colorado. Take a private jet from your $14 million mansion. <laughs> the level of delusion is insane. It's absolutely insane. I, I, I haven't even got into any clips of the, of the series because I, I don't think... I don't know. I don't know anymore. What's the point? I sat through an hour of this documentary today looking for something interesting, looking for something funny. There was nothing. It was just another sob story about how Harry was a miserable child because he was followed around by cameras and his mum died. And th the fact is, I'll repeat it, everyone felt sorry for that kid. Everybody. I still do. I was watching some of the documentary and I felt a little bit emotional looking at him walking behind his mum's coffin. Who doesn't? Who didn't feel sorry for Harry? Who didn't like Meghan? Who didn't embrace the, this modernising of the royal family? Nobody cared. He's not going to be king. They don't care if he goes out with some actress. Everyone saw this pretty actress who no, you know, no one knew anything about and immediately thought, oh, isn't that cool? Can we... Look at Piers Morgan, right? One of their biggest detractors now. In the second trailer, there's a little soundbite of him saying, she's becoming a royal rock star. He liked her. Everyone did. They stopped liking her when she started pretending to be a victim. That was it. Nobody liked a victim, particularly, I've got to say, I think, in Britain. The, the sense of irony with British people is too strong. <laughs> so it's when we see anybody feigning emotions, feigning victimhood, it's just like, nah, nah, not buying it. I'm not buying it. And that's, that's why everyone turned on him. Not because of race. Everyone turned on Harry, not because they can't understand him, not because he needs to speak his truth. We already saw it. We saw him grow up before our very eyes. We saw him grow up. He doesn't need to explain to us what happened to him. What is this truth? When are they going to get to it? In episode six? Series two? The next series of... <laughs> Archetypes, which will definitely happen. Well, this was the easiest video I've ever made. No editing needed, I don't think. I don't know. I, I, I'm... I'm getting sick of this.